The abandoned fill every city's shelter. Some will be put to death. Do we have notes on him? But in Denver, there is an unusual second chance, and Marley might just get one. He is being tested for a program that turns the unwanted into elite dogs who serve. She is part of me. She is me. Take. Vietnam veteran Artie Guerrero now has MS. If he needs an assist, Sierra can pull him in his wheelchair. A dog so starved as a puppy, she was given up for dead. She's a survivor and I'm a survivor. Denver's Freedom Service Dogs is one of the few in the nation using only rescued dogs. There's no reason to breed dogs when there are so many good dogs in shelters that have been abandoned and abused. Training begins with teaching the dogs that most humans can be friendly. Then mastering special tasks. Donations pay the $20,000 for the nine months of training. So far, more than 150 dogs have graduated and been placed. About 50 people are on the waiting list, hoping for a companion. And if a dog washes out, it gets adopted out. No dog is put to sleep. It's not just how the dog helps with daily life. It's how when dog and person come together, calm, calm, both lives begin changing. She is restoring my sense of safety, my sense of security. Air Force veteran Suzanne Quinn has post-traumatic stress disorder so severe that for six years she wouldn't leave her house. Then Cabo arrived four months ago, trained for special command. Cabo, front. And so she will come into that position to basically give us some space. Or give her a kiss that helps bring her back into the present if she has a flashback. Cabo comes into your life, what happens? Uh, the world just opened up. Doors that I thought were slammed shut started to open up again. And remember Marley, he made it into the program. And one day his devotion to serve may be repaid with love. Mary Peterson, CBS News, Denver.